coming. Now, of course, Michonne is such a mysterious character in the show. Do you create a backstory for her in your own mind? That, um, and also, do you ever sort of look at your scripts, which I'm, you said you really like, and think, oh, as a playwright, I might make this change and that change, and how do you resist that? Actually, I think a lot of her backstory is out now. Um, and season four was really about that. We did the flashback in her dream sequence. I hope we're not boring you, peanut. And then at the end of the season, she spoke a lot about who she was and her the loss of her child and and her her um, her, her child's father uh, to Carl. And Carl is the only person that she's confided in about her her backstory. Not only has it been shared almost entirely with the audience, but it's um, it's very very clear to me. And it's I think it's beautifully crafted by the writers. Um, in terms of that, I mean, no, I mean I I'm always quite amazed by what they come up with and by how they, they can turn a situation. You can know a little bit about what's coming and then say, I wonder how they're going to do that. I think, And then you start to imagine how, how it should be done, how it could be done, and then you see how they do it, and you're like, oh, that's so much better than what I was thinking. You know? <laughs> Would you like to see Michelle and have a romance on the show? Because obviously you've created just a complete character here. Fans love the character. I think you seem to want her to. Yeah, have well, her. it seems like she should. Only, I'd say because of this, because we, we see her do so many interesting things, you know, bond with Rick, bond with Rick's son. She clearly has a big Are heart. you in a Rashon camp? Are you about to Rashon <laughs> well, me right now? Well, it seems like if she did have that kind of romance, <laughs> we'd get to see other sides of her that haven't been explored yet. Right. I mean, I, I, it's been great. I actually really enjoy how the fans are so invested in her personal life and or the lack thereof, uh, or their hopes for. It. Some bitch about a court law. You still keep it in the bottom of Tower 3? Yeah. My sister even tells me about how people think about Daryl and Michonne, and they came up with a little boy who looked like he could be their son. I mean, people get very invested, and I think that's awesome. I appreciate it. Um, I'm sure Michonne would, too. But, I mean, we'll see. You know, I mean, it really, at this point, she is at a really wonderful place, and I think that that's what's... Uh, really exciting to me about her is that she is at a place where this is her family. Yeah, Rick and Carl are her people, you know, and, but beyond that, you know, Carol is her people. Daryl is her people. Um, you know, of course, Glenn and Maggie, you know, and I love that she's been able to really start to find a friendship also with Glenn. You know, there's so many things that are um, allowing her to blossom and to be a fuller human being. Uh, you know, so whether or not romance comes into it, I mean, the bigger picture of the fact that she has taken such a journey from how we met her at the beginning of season three, I find really exciting. And you know, there's so many pockets of her humanity that get to be explored. It's, it's really thrilling. So I'll take that as a maybe. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. So, well, who knows?